Okay, let's connect and talk about a soldier surprising his daughter at work. I love these. We do, and it's not your usual surprise, right, Danny? It isn't. I want you to take a look at this incredible video. Special Agent Jerry Dalrymple Rimple, returned from his deployment early and decided to make a splash by going to where his daughter works to spring the big surprise on her. Oh, my gosh, just seeing that embrace, it just... And, uh, oh, and then the dolphin. So Catherine works at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And uh, you can take a look at the welcome home he got. Even the dolphins, as you saw, seem to be really excited. The military dad has been serving overseas since March of last year, but was able to come home a few weeks earlier than planned. Oh, so sweet. That is yeah. cute. I just love these every single time, you know, and especially the early surprises. Yeah, look at her. Yeah. It's going over. This, so I can only imagine good. the tears streaming down her face. Just that, mm -hmm. the joy. Are those tears or is that ocean water? <laughs> <A little bold. laughs> it's just the ocean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And let's talk about what else is trending. So there's a hotel that will not only wait on you hand and foot, but also with a book. We have a West Palm Beach hotel that now offers a complimentary book butler. This is how it works. Guests can check out the list of books and then dial zero from your hotel phone for the book butler. Uh, so this is something I've never heard anywhere else, but I think it's nice to, I don't know, uh, encourage folks to read physical books. Mm-hmm. You know? I like sitting down with a good book. Especially yeah. when the butler brings it to me. Put the martini on top of the three books, and oh, there you go. Like, thank you, my book butler. <laughs> but then would you actually get nice? to the books? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, and it makes me feel kind of fancy if a butler delivered my oh, books. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you are fancy if you've got a butler. <laughs> yeah, I would have my little my glass of tea with my pinkies mm -hmm. out. So, <laughs> Rich is laughing at me. And let's take a look at our totally random poll results. So we're asking you, do you nap at work? Uh, still 21% saying yes, 79% saying no. And Dan and Carrie, I was thinking about when I was in preschool and we'd have like set times to take naps and how I hated it because I could never nap. I never wanted to. I think I had too much energy. Now I like crave naps. Yeah. It's all backwards, huh? It is. Yeah. I'm like, what was I thinking back then? Take advantage of those naps. Right. All the energy is wasted on the youth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>